everyone! So today I'm going to be showing you how I made this manicure. It's simple, you had a little bit of fun, I sponge on a little bit of glitter, I am using a vintage nail polish that I just got recently, mm -hmm. and I just like the way it turned out. It's great for a little bit of a Valentine's Day, and it is um, a little bit on the Valentine's-esque side. So, yeah. Stay tuned if you want to see how I did this. And if you want to see other tutorials like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be adding some more tutorials. And you can also check out my playlist because I have quite a few other nail tutorials, especially since this is part of a 30 day nail art challenge. So there will be all of them listed there in my playlist. Alright, so I have two colors of this Vintage Simple Colors nail polish. Oh my goodness. This is number 52 Cream Pink. Now this color was reformulated by Simple Colors and it is um, occasionally released um, in limited edition collections, but this is the vintage version. And I know you can't see it on camera, but it has this interesting iridescence. It's not really cream pink. I know the new, f the newest formula of cream pink is a cream color, um, but the w original cream pink that I ever got out of this line um, did have a shimmer in it too. And this is the very first one, the original. And this bottle style, by the way, uh, went out of style, or was um, revamped, and it came in this bottle style. Um, new editions have added this, and then the newest bottle style has these stickers for limited edition collections. But anyways, this bottle style was revamped for that bottle style I just showed you uh, around between 01 and 06, 2001 and 2006. So let's go ahead and take a look at that polish and see what it really, really looks like. There you can see that shimmer. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's just like a pinkish gold shimmer. It's very fine, but it does add so much. Now the smell to this is very strong. Um, I have this about a foot away from my face and I can still smell it like as soon as I pulled the cap off. So that is something that comes with vintage nail polish. Um, I just got this today. I bought it off of, um, the Simple Colors Facebook page. So that's where I got this. And I am so happy. And in case you don't know, Simple Colors is one of my absolute favorite brands, and that's why I had to get this vintage polish. I'm going to be putting a coat of this Simple Colors polish, which I also just got, and this is in 1710 Love Bombs. This is part of their 2015, uh, 2015, 2016 limited edition color collection. Um, this is the only polish that is new in this collection. All the others are re-promotes, so. And look at that glitter. Ugh, oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so I'm going to be placing this Love Bombs glitter on a makeup sponge because I really want to get this packed on there. And I'm going to put it on just my ring finger. Wait for the top coat to absorb a little. Okay. Wait. 
wait a second again. And all I'm doing is I'm allowing the makeup sponge to really absorb some of that top coat so that when I go to place the glitter, all I have is the glitter and not any of that top coat, or at least not as much. So I think I have as much, as much glitter as I can get packed on there. For nail stamping, I'm going to be using Bundle Monster 323, and I'm going to be using this one, this lace image here. And I'm going to be using my Conad Special Polish, Special Nail Polish. And this is in black. Okay, so now I'm going to pull off these extra bits that I don't need. I'm going to try and angle it going from one corner, going from this corner here down to this side. See if I can execute that. Kinda. Well, that was interesting. I'll try the other nail. I actually want to put this on my pinky. I'm going to go the other way. So. That didn't even take it off at all. Well, okay then. Let's see if I can get this to come off. That didn't work very well. I'm going to try and use my Moya London one and see how that works. Got it. And trying to stamp from one corner to the next. Well, those angles are completely different. Interesting. I think I should have really used this lace image using decals, but um, a little late for that now. I'm going to try this again. There we go. Alright, so these two angles are about the same. This one on the other hand, the one I used with my Conan Original Stamper, not the same at all. Now I'm going to attempt to stamp this over the glitter. Ok, 
Okay. Got it. It popped up. Biome. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and remove this and start over because that's just no. Alright, so I'm all done. I'm going to go ahead and top coat now. I'm going to be using my favorite top coat, which is Such Feet. I've also cleaned up already, so yeah. Don't forget to cap your ends so that you don't have tip wear as quickly. It also helps prevent chipping overall. Alright, so there's the finished look. What do you think? I think it's pretty fun. And I'm loving my new... I'm loving my new vintage simple colors. I think it's just gorgeous. And that love bombs? Oh girl, you're gonna be seeing more of that to come in future, especially with Valentine's Day coming up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Loving it.